Hi, my name is Stephen Walls. I have been in the AEC industry for over 15 years now and have taken on many roles from drafting and designing to model managing and implementing company-wide BIM and SIM standards, procedures, and workflows. Welcome to my weekly Design to Visualization video release where I'll be reviewing advanced tools and workflows covering a multitude of design and visualization programs currently being implemented within the AEC industry. If you have any specific requests on what you'd like to see me review, or would even like to collaborate on these, feel free to reach out to me at stevewalls at hotmail.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-W-A-L-Z at hotmail.com. If you like what you see in these videos, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the lower right-hand corner so that you can stay in the loop as I release new videos. Hope you enjoy! So for this demonstration, I'm going to be reviewing the Create Surface from GIS Data Command. And what we're going to want to make sure before anything starts is that we have our drawing projected into the true coordinate system. For this case, we're working in North Carolina, so we'll set it to NAD83, North Carolina State Plain, U.S. Foot. Hit OK. And as you can see, we already have some contours that I had previously imported from shapefiles. This is the layer name that's associated with them, two foot contours. And you can see that we have the data, the GIS data, um, attribute data being brought in as well. So you can see that the attribute data is pulling the elevations, but the elevation itself for the polyline is still set to zero. So provided that there's data associated with it, we can extract that and convert it to a civil 3D property. And what we're going to do is initiate the create surface from GIS data command. Civil 3D object type is going to be surface. We'll give this a name, a unique name. We'll call this EG for existing grade underscore GIS, just so we know that it's coming from GIS contours. For the style, we're going to set this to contours, one foot and five foot background. And I always like to set a rendering material to my surfaces. This way, when I start looking at stuff in 3D views, I could easily figure out which surface is which. And we'll click Next. We want to select Shape File for the data source type that we're going to be importing. And then we'll click on the ellipsis here, and we'll search to where that shape file is actually located. We'll select it and hit open. And then you want to make sure that you select the login. By selecting login, it actually gives you access to the rest of the procedures for this command. Go here, we check the box, two foot contours. You can see the drawing coordinate system is already defined. So here you can actually define the area you're going to be creating the surface from. You can define it by a polygon, you can define it by the whole shape file, the extents of the entire shape file, or we could draw a window. And that's what we're gonna to, going to do right now is just because I don't want this surface to be too big, I just want to focus on the design area where we're going to be performing the analysis for. In query type, you could either do inside or crossing. Since a lot of these contours do cross that window, you want to make sure that that's checked. If it's inside, it only takes the contours in internal to that box. This is the mapping, so we want to make sure that we're mapping the GIS elevation to the Civil 3D property elevation. And we'll hit finish. And there you go. Now we have a working existing conditions GIS surface.